Will Damon become a White Walker because of the Three-Eyed Raven? The most shocking moment in the latest episode of House of the Dragon was when Damon connected to the Weirwood Trees Network in Westeros. This connection gave him a glimpse of the real players behind the scenes. Entities like the Three-Eyed Raven and even Daenerys herself. Damon's vision has so many elements that we could make a video about each of them. In this vision we saw what appears to be a prince rogue-like character transformed into one of these creatures. Could it be that Damon is destined to join the Night King's troops? Or even become the leader of the White Walkers? How dark is Damon Targaryen's destiny really? In this video, we'll take an in-depth look at this theory and the clues present in one aspect of Damon's vision. The possibility of Damon becoming a White Walker. And for more videos from the universe of A Song of Ice and Fire, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Before we start with this video, if you want to participate in our giveaway, in which we will be giving away a Funko Pop from House of the Dragon, you just have to comment which king or queen you will bend your knee for and why. The winner will be announced on August 16th. To understand how Daemon ended up becoming a White Walker or the Night King, we must transport ourselves thousands of years through time, to a period when the children of the forest were in despair, because men had begun to cut down their trees. The children had no written history, and they were not building cities, so we do not know for sure how long they had been in Westeros, nor all the events that occurred. What we do know is that the children of the forest lived in caves to evade their enemies, and that they practiced magic rituals and technology creation, such as arrows made of weirwood and dragonglass points. The children of the forest lived in relative peace until 8,000 years ago when the first men arrived in Westeros. It is believed that thousands arrived, crossing a natural bridge that existed between the continent of Westeros and Essos when both continents were attached. Men began to inhabit the area of Dorne and started to travel northward. Then the first great conflict began. During this great war, the men realized that the children of the forest used the trees to observe them and to manipulate time. It is possible that humans realized that these trees were the source of their power. And as the story goes, the children of the forest became so desperate that they created the White Walkers. Now the origin of the first White Walker is shown in Game of Thrones. A man who is subjected to a ritual with a dragon glass dagger, but it is not specified if this is the Night King. The theory that this person eventually becomes that figure has been popularly accepted by fans, but it is not one that has been confirmed. The Night King could be anyone, even a Targaryen from the past. In one of our videos from the first season of House of the Dragon, we talked about the theory that Daemon could become the Night King. A theory that was considered by many as a joke, who claimed that it could be a theory worthy of Mushroom, however, after the end of the second season of House of the Dragon, the chances of Daemon eventually joining the ranks of darkness have increased. But beyond the character bearing some similarity to Daemon, what other clues point to the rogue prince potentially becoming a White Walker? I think there is a magical battle going on in this universe with three main factions. The side of the Three-Eyed Raven, who is currently looking for a successor. The Targaryen side with the Lord of Light, the Dragons and Daenerys, and the side of the White Walkers. I think the Three-Eyed Raven wants to recruit Daemon, but also the White Walker side could recruit him as well. It's like these three sides are constantly fighting for the fate of the Targaryens and the rest of the planet. Now what do the books say about Daemon's ending? Will we really see him become one of these dark entities? What would you think if I told you that the books mentioned Daemon's body was never found? In the Book of Fire and Blood we can read the following. That Prince Daemon died as well we cannot doubt. His remains were never found. 
but there are queer currents in that lake, and hungry fish as well. The singers tell us that the old prince survived the fall, and afterward made his way back to the girl Nettles, to spend the remainder of his days at her side. In this fragment of the book we are shown what actually happened to Damon's body, after a confrontation he has in battle. It is interesting how it is mentioned that his body was never found, but that in that lake there were hungry fish, something similar to what we saw in Damon's vision. This means that Damon's vision showed us also Damon's ending from the books. The fact that it is also mentioned in the books that some people believe Damon escaped death to live with a mistress also opens the possibility for Damon to survive this fall. But what does it all mean? In the books, it's not clear what happened to Damon's body, or if he actually died. Which means, he could become the next three-eyed raven or a white walker without a problem. But this would have to mean that after Damon fulfills his purpose, the same one that Helena asked him to fulfill, Damon could disappear. And now comes perhaps the most interesting part of all this. If Damon becomes a White Walker, we might see his transformation in the next seasons. And we might see more cameos in other productions. In the same way we saw Daenerys in House of the Dragon, we might see Damon or Rhaenyra in Visions in the series of The Hedge Knight. But if Damon becomes the three-eyed raven of that era, after facing his destiny, that means Damon could be the one to recruit Brynden Rivers to become the three-eyed raven in the future. Right now, I think Damon is standing between three possible paths. One of these paths leads to his death by drowning in a lake. Another of these paths leads him to the troops of the White Walkers. And another possible path could lead him to become a type of three-eyed raven. I think this again confirms that the story of Game of Thrones is not linear, and that events can change. There is no fixed canon, because as shown in Game of Thrones, the magical struggle that occurs behind the shadows is one that affects the past, present, and future. But then, how would Damon end up becoming a White Walker? With what justification would the rogue prince travel north? If indeed the Three-Eyed Raven is looking for a successor, it is possible that he would replicate the method he used to lure Bran to his cave, showing visions to his potential successors. Perhaps it is the Three-Eyed Raven who triggers Damon's visions. And this leads Damon to travel north to try to fulfill his purpose, which may eventually lead him to face a White Walker and end up joining his troops. In Game of Thrones, we saw how the Night King entered Bran's visions and marked him. It would seem that the successor to the Three-Eyed Raven could also be the successor to the Night King. And these entities are competing to recruit the most powerful Targaryens. I think the possibility of us having a series of Daemon and his story in the North is possible. Now that we know his story might not conclude at that lake. Everything is possible now that the magical elements are on the table. But tell me, what do you think about all this? Could it be that Daemon is destined to become a White Walker? Could it be that the Three-Eyed Raven will take him to the North, and this will cause Daemon to become one of these creatures, and that's why they never found his body? What do you think about these theories? And if you liked this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos of theories, news and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel.